Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new preview feature, which is called Quick Setups. And it's actually part of that new customer service admin app, which I also did a video about not too long ago. I'm actually going to drop the link to the video in a comment so you can take a look at that one as well if you want. I recorded a video on the customer service admin center app previously while it was still in preview, but it actually has some additional items here. And also it looks a little bit different than the way it looked when it was in preview. So I wanted to do another follow-up video to kind of discuss, right? This new front page and this new home page. And you can also see that we now have quick setup which is also in preview. So I wanted to, uh, to show you what that is as well. So on the homepage, you can see that there's a lot more details on it, right? We now have advanced configuration settings on here as well, where you can access uh, the setting up of macros, service level agreements, email templates, and article templates directly from that homepage. And you can see here the overview below that section shows you the ability to view the customer support, which are these items that you can see here on the left side of the screen. And then experiences are the agent experiences and operations are these items below these operations sections. So that's kind of showing you guys the different homepage, but now let's talk about this quick setup feature. And you can also drill into here by clicking on get started. So first I want to talk a little bit about what it is. Um, cause this is a feature that system administrators can use to track the setup of certain channels in the Dynamics 365 customer service environments. And this feature provides them with all of the necessary steps that need to be completed to configure a channel in Dynamics 365 customer service. It's kind of funny because I actually built something like this for my former customers where I created a dialogue, uh, which is dialogues has since been uh, removed from the application, unfortunately. But what I did is the system administrator would have to go to a user record and then run that dialogue. So they would answer certain questions and based on their answers, then the dialogue would actually show them everything that needs to be configured and everything that needs to be set up for the user. For example, adding security roles, adding them to teams, field security profiles, etc., so that the user would have the correct access levels. So this really reminds me of this because it seems to work very similar to what I just described to you guys. So as you can see here, when I drill into get started, it immediately creates this new quick setup record. If I actually go back here, you can see here that I currently don't have any quick setup records available. So if you're accessing quick setup from the side pane here, from the side map, you can just start by clicking on start new. And as you can see, that then brings you to this quick setup screen. So the first thing you have to do is set up a name. So I'm going to say this is going to be email setup. And then you just click on next here on the bottom of that page. And as you can see here, I only have two different channel types. I don't have the ability to pick voice or chat. And I'm sure that has something to do with my licensing or with the applications that have been installed in this particular environment. So if you pick a channel, let's go ahead and, and pick email and then click next. It's now, as you can see, showing me this summary screen, right? And I can still make changes here. If I click here 
on this little icon here, I can change the name or I can change the channel type. But since this is what I want to do, I can just click continue set up directly from here. And once I click that button, you're, you can see here now on on the left side of my screen, you have all of these different steps, right? First, I need to add agents, then I need to create and a shared mailbox, create an email queue, etc. So if I expand this, this is going to show you all of those steps in details. And then here it shows you exactly what you need to do, right? You need to go to the admin center. Uh, you're going to go to user management, select add user, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to click next here. You need to assign the security roles. Fine. You need to enable the agent mailbox. Fine. Then we are currently by uh, at step number two, where we're creating a shared mailbox. And here we're going to check this box. We're going to click next. We're going to click next. And now we're actually going to enter data in here as well. So if you have a shared mailbox email address, you can enter that in here. So I'm going to say support at emailbox.com, whatever that email address is, right? That you're getting from creating that shared mailbox. You're going to create next and look at this. Now you're actually going to be able to use this tool to create records in Dynamics 365 as well. So I can enter a queue name. So let me just say, I'm going to say support. This is already configured. I can enter a description in here. I'm going to click next here. And you can see that it just created that queue for me. So I think this is actually a pretty cool feature because let me actually go out, get out of here. Now, if you're in the middle of setup, you click set and close, you can see that this email setup record has actually been saved. And I can see that I'm in the middle of this setup. It's still in progress, right? So if somebody else logs in, they can exactly see what has been completed and what still needs to be done. So I just really liked this, this functionality. And I think this is going to make this, this setup experience a lot better for uh, some of our system administrators. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy the content, then don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Have a great day, everybody. And until next week.